In this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit the main menu inside of Minichat for your Messenger and Instagram chatbot and what other options you have with the main menu. So let's go ahead and dive in. To get to the main menu, uh, it's going to be under automation and you click that main menu button right there. Now uh, for automation, in this account, we don't have Instagram connected, um, but it's essentially the same thing. You will have an option for uh, Facebook and Instagram and it, it's exactly the same process of walking through. So clicking on the main menu there, what we already have here is what we have included in our real estate bot template uh, at realestatemessengerbot.com. But it's really simple to uh, edit the menu. Basically, we have an enable and disabled button up there. And the three options that we have set up for the real estate bot uh, template actually go to separate flows. However, you can add up to 20 different options inside of the main menu. So as opposed to, you'll, you'll see here, if someone clicks on buy or sell a home, um, they will open up this flow. And how this works is basically we have a gallery here that has different options uh, for them to go through. So we have buy a home, sell a home, and, and these go to all kinds of different flows. Uh, so it goes to the home buyer question flow, the home seller question flow, mortgage pre-approval, email opt-in, schedule an appointment, market statistics, and eight steps to buying your first home. Again, these are part of the real estate bot template, but you can create whatever type of links that you want to uh, inside of the main menu. You don't have to use um, a separate uh, subfolder apparently um, for your main menu you can just add them all in here if you'd like um, we also have the more options um, uh, sub menu that goes through the home value or how much is my home worth downloading our app a link to the app browse homes online office hours and locations why choose us and managing their subscription so again you can just click on that menu button and you can add anything you want uh, let's do um, buy a home all right and then we can open up with a specific message either creating a new message or select an existing one that you've already had and that is the the chatbot flow um, that is in your account or again creating another one or you can open up a website so uh, you can just paste your website there and it can go to you know your main website where you look where they can look for homes on their website and that's totally fine the reason why we have three um, options that go to sub menus is because uh, anything more than that, it, they have to scroll through. This basically pops up at the bottom of their uh, page when they are sending your Facebook page a message uh, inside a messenger. This can this will pop up at the bottom of their um, uh, of their chat. So the ones underneath three, are, it might be three or four, but uh, three for sure they won't see and they'll only see if they try to scroll up so sometimes not everybody will see those so we just kept it simple and, and used three options that went to separate flows to um uh to go through galleries in in that way but again that's uh that's up to you how you want to do it but once whatever you add into your main menu all you have to do is hit that update menu enable it and you're good to go uh the uh, the other thing that you can do is you go to your menu option here at the top and there are these things called dynamic menus. So the dynamic menu, you can uh, have a setting where it changes uh, the menu for, for your user depending on a certain action. So let's say you have a uh, call an agent, um, buy, buy a home, sell a home, and uh, it has all those options for the default menu. Well, what if you have someone who is a buyer and uh, you know they're a buyer because they went through the home buyer flow and now they have a buyer tag and you wanna create a menu specifically for them to kind of push them to do specific actions. So you would hit this new menu. I would call it um, buyer menu. I'd hit create, open it up. And then I would do, uh, you know, buy a home. And then I would send that to you again, you can send it to a website, you can send it to another uh, flow. And then I would do um, eight steps to buying a home. 
okay? So maybe those are the two options I would want to have for that net, um, that buyer specifically. So I can go ahead and select existing eight steps, eight steps to the first home. I can select this flow. Again, this flow is, is included in the real estate bot template, but you can create your own flow or your own link or whatever. Maybe it's a PDF download that you want to send them to. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to send them to a home buyer flow uh, right there. And now instead of those three options that they had for the default reply, um, the buyers would receive a buy a home button and uh, eight steps of buying a home button. I would hit update and the way that you uh, get them, get this option to change for them is to go under automation and rules, and then you're gonna create a new rule. So the trigger would be, <clears throat> um, we can use multiple triggers, but uh, for this example specifically, we could use a buyer tag. Uh, so let's say this tag is buyer. Um, and obviously this tag has to be added at some point inside of your chat bot. So if you have a home buyer flow that uh, tag gets added inside of that flow, that's when the, the uh, menu would change at the time that they receive that tag. So the tag, once the tag is applied, then you uh, go to change menu, select menu, buyer menu, save, activate, and now Anybody who comes into your chat bot and goes to a buyer flow and receives a buyer tag, their menu will change to the buyer menu. And that's, uh, you know, it's as simple as, as that for you. Um, <clears throat> so that's really how you can change the, the main menu, edit it, um, what your different options are with that main menu. Um, and if you guys have any questions about how to use the main menu or any other questions about mini chat and real estate leads, uh, go ahead and drop those comments in uh, those questions in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you, if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.